Hey guys, welcome to the Headphone Cafe, where we sit back, relax, and talk about headphones, even though we're all kind of leaning forward right now, not back. But on this edition, uh, we've got Andrew here, the founder of Bloom Audio, and our original YouTube channel uh, you know, face that we had on here. Uh, he's had some of our most popular reviews of all time, including the SP2000. Uh, which is still our most viewed video. I was hoping the SP3000 might catch up one day. We'll have to do see. Better. Yeah, do better, Steve. So yeah, go back and check that archive of just incredible Please content. Please don't check the archive. <laughs> just uh, look at our videos for the past like 12 months and like nothing further back. So we've also got Matt here. You might have recognized Matt from previous editions of the Headphone Cafe. That's right. Uh, we've had him on twice before. And uh, one of those was our lowest viewed video of all time. Right. So we've got all things perfectly balanced as they should be. Yes. But today we're here to talk about uh, some of the best of 2022, uh, some of our favorite experiences uh, along with our favorite headphones and other DAX daps and all that. So before we get to our picks of 2022, we wanted to talk about kind of like our, our headphone experiences of 2022, whether things like uh, Can Jam or gear that we listened to that was just absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna start off with Matt. What was your like headphone experience of 2022? Um, Can Jam Chicago definitely takes cake. Um, my first Can Jam, my first real experience of seeing, um, you know, passionate people about audio and seeing so much different gear. Um, listening to the Shangri-La system at the Hi-Fi booth or Hi-Fi Man booth. Um, was really awesome, really yeah. great experience. Uh, it was just cool to see so many people so passionate about audio and um, trying out all the IEMs we had at our booth. And um, just being in Chicago was a really cool experience. I was uh, still pretty new to the team. Thanks, yeah, it was a smaller crowd. It was a, it yeah. was a really good time. Yeah. So what about you, Andrew? What's uh... Um, so can jams are always fun. You know, we did three this year, uh, SoCal, the most recent, and also probably the biggest show we've ever done. I think, I think Head 5 said it might have been their biggest show, or biggest U.S. show. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I think my, my favorite, like, experience this year was probably checking out the Utopia 2022 on the Head Amp GSX Mini. Yeah. Um. I was never a huge fan of the original Utopia. Like I appreciated what it was, but I found it to just be way too fatiguing and uh, and too bright. And I feel like they just completely nailed the 2022. Um, the trouble is perfect. And um, yeah, I was just I've been really impressed checking out Head Am stuff. So that combo was like it was just fantastic. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Nice, yeah. So for me, I'm gonna go with uh, yeah, like Can Jam Chicago was awesome. Can Jam SoCal was also a really great time. Uh, you know, we got to meet some more of our, you know, people we've been interacting with online and, you know, meet, meet some more of those people, hang out after the show more. The, probably for a headphone one, I have to go with, when we did the Head Amp Blue Hawaii review, uh, Justin from Head Amp sent up some sample sample headphones. He sent up the Stax uh, SRX 9000, just like a sample headphone to try out. Uh, but that was yeah, free sample. Free sample. Free samples here. Uh, that was absolutely incredible with the Blue Hawaii, as was the Odyssey Carbon. And uh, that was for me. I think also I, I had heard some electrostatic headphones pretty early on and didn't quite like get it. But this time around with the Blue Hawaii, with some real top tier stuff. You know, an absolutely incredible listening experience. You know, that kind of transcendent, like you almost can't believe what you're hearing sort of sound. So next up, we want to talk about our picks for our sort of favorite items that came out in 2022. So that could be, you know, a what we think is the absolute best or just something that we thought was really cool that we want to shout out for as a pick. So I'm going to go first with more of that second sort of shout out and that's for the Astell and Kern Acro CA1000. Uh, was it the best DAP to come out in 2022? Probably not, uh, but the combination of these sort of crazy array of features, the DAP features, DAC, the, you, know, you can use it as a headphone amp, as a DAC, as a digital audio player, it's transportable, 
just a really cool device that I think would fit really well from the conversations we have with customers, fit really well into a lot of people's sort of audiophile lifestyle. So I think that was a really cool item, maybe a little bit underappreciated this year. So I'm, I'm gonna call out the Acro CA1000 as my pick for 2022. What about you, Andrew? I'm gonna go with the Meze 109 Pro. Um, it's no secret, I'm a bit of a Meze fanboy, so take it uh, you know, with a grain of salt, I guess, in that sense. But I feel like they just made what I would consider to be like a perfect product in a lot of ways. Um, obviously, it's not you know the, the best sounding headphone I've ever heard, but I feel like for 800 bucks, the like complete product you get in its build quality, its comfort, its looks, its sound, like it's a very like accessible tuning and like plays well with pretty much any genre of music. It, it's, it's just about my favorite, I would say like sub $1,000 headphone. Um, it, I would say it is my, my favorite sub $1,000 headphone. So th I would go with that. Um, I've, I've, there were other headphones that impressed me this year. I really enjoyed the Expanse. As I mentioned, the Utopia 2022 is, is phenomenal, but I would say for, you know, my favorite pick, one that I would probably like take home and like listen to a lot at home would be the 109 Pro. Nice, yeah, no, I love the 109 Pro too. Especially, I'll get into the CA1000. <laughs> Good combo. <laughs> Matt, Matt, what do you think? I'm gonna, I changed mine up. I was originally gonna go with the uh, DX320, but I'm going with the Focal Bathys. And when that originally came out, if I were to say that then, I don't think I would agree, but uh, I've really been listening a lot over the past few weeks. I've really, really learned to appreciate it. I think it's a really great headphone. It's comfortable. Battery life is excellent. Uh, the noise cancellation is superb. I, I just think it's a really great headphone and with the DAC mode, I think it really makes a great all-in-one. So we go with the Focal Bathys. Nice, yeah. For those of you who don't know, probably most of you, Matt does most of our shipping. So he's yeah. usually in the back room. He's got the Bathus on. Yeah. He's got he's got his tunes going. So he really gets a lot of use out of that. So he noise cancel cancels everything. Yeah, yeah. noise can <laughs> Matt! <laughs> don't <laughs> ship that. <laughs> so 2022 uh, was definitely a really great year between uh, stuff like Can Jam SoCal and you know the releases, Utopia 2022. How long? How long have people been asking? I've been working at Bloom for nearly three years, and I feel like I had a month after I started, people were asking, "We gonna update the uh, Utopia anytime soon?" <laughs> well, the original Utopia came out in 2016. I know, right? Yeah. So. Which, for you know, product life cycle type, you know, averages, is pretty. It's pretty long, like like yeah. six years of, of it being, uh, you know, their best headphone. Uh, yeah, no, that's that's definitely true. Or their flagship. <laughs> Yeah, but we got a lot of cool stuff. Uh, even some of the limited edition stuff, Campfire Trifecta, oh, yeah. I Still Care Odyssey, or Empire Years Odyssey, however that goes. Mm -hmm. But uh, Forte Blanc. Yeah. It's really good. Forte Blanc, yeah. So, but uh, it's great talking to you guys today. Let us know in the comments uh, what some of your picks are for 2022. I mean, after this 100% definitive, authoritative take that we gave here, mm -hmm. So, you know, if it's not in agreement with us, it's, it's probably not correct, but you're Everybody's still- Everybody's top 10 list has at the very top three, <laughs> the Acro 1000, the 109 Pro, and the Bathys. The Bathys, like, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, so let us know what the other seven are, yeah. basically. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but no, you know, you know we're just kidding. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, and uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll be back soon with more Hi-Fi personal audio content.